What's going on, everybody? Nick Daniels here, coming at you live yet again. We got the fireplace in the back there on the uh, the ocean waterfront um, on this evening, and uh, we figured I'd, I'd figured I'd just make a video for you guys here, and we talk about something interesting that I came across the other day. So uh, I was making a Tinder video there, Tinder in 2022, by the way, if you're wondering, uh, with some of the the features that I don't remember being on the application. And I happened to stumble across a guy that Tinder uh, was promoting or had made. And it was called the seven times it's perfectly acceptable to go someone. And I want to go through that guide um, point by point, And I want to take a few minutes of your time and get a look at what's going on. Let's get into it. So the first one we're going to be looking at is the inconsistent or unreliable communication. Um, so we'll just read it. We're just going to read from the screen and then we'll relay some thoughts back here. Um, the last couple get very, very, I don't know, I wouldn't say repetitive, but I'm not going to, I have read through this. They're not going to offer a lot of commentary. It's just the first couple. And then I think they're kind of, they probably going to put it down to five, to be honest. Um, in the world of dating, it's okay to ghost someone who has repeatedly shown inconsistency with communication or interest in hanging out, says certified life coach Tori Autumn. It's all too common for people to lack initiative in either starting or, actu or actively continuing a conversation digitally, and that usually translates to whether or not, uh, or whether they're proact proactive in making plans to actually meet up. Autumn recommends ghosting early on in this scenario in order to conserve your own time and energy. Resist their urge to continue a meaningless conversation. Um, I don't think I've ever really ghosted in the sense of inconsistent or unreliable communication. In the sense um, of the first one, of inconsistent, um, I don't really think so. Um, I look at inconsistent communication like from like a dating app, let's say Tinder specifically, um, would just be like, they'd probably take a long time to get back to you. And it can be a hassle. Um, you know, like you're trying to schedule up a date and it'll take two days to get a response. It can be a lot because maybe you wanted to have it within those two days, you know, I don't know. Um, unreliable communication has also been there for me as well, where I have gone on a date and the person didn't show up and, you know, maybe they're not answering. That's unreliable communication. You know, if something's coming up, let me know. Tell me what's going on. Um, I, I mean, I would also agree that, you know, at any point, if you're going to ghost, the earlier the better, you know. Um, so point number two is disregard for consent and personal safety. Consent is key in all dating situations, no matter the scenario or circumstance. And as is personal safety, a date or potential partner should never make you feel unsafe in any way, shape, or form. If they begin to show even the slightest threat um, on either front, shut it down without a word. If someone seems aggressive in any way, being it through pressuring you, being inappropriately argumentative, or, or is hot-tempered and easily triggered, retreat and delete, um, apparently they tell you to do, because um, apparently this is an act of self-love and healthy boundaries. Um, and also choosing ghosting over transparency or confrontation here is a smart move for your safety. Um, ghosting an abusive or chronically angry person doesn't mean you are weak. It means you are smart and strong. Um, the only point I would really like to say there, um, if someone is kind of doing those things, you know, it, it isn't a bad idea to ghost. And sometimes it's better just to tell them, hey, listen, I'm not feeling it. And that can kind of put an end to it because if someone comes off as really clingy and you ghost, they might just keep trying to get a hold of you because they're, you know, and maybe they don't understand what's going on. Um, when they, when they just can't take a hint, so as many times as you've tried explaining, it's fine to ghost someone who just doesn't get that you're not interested in them, says Autumn. Um, when a partner refuses to get the message that a relationship is over, even after repeated attempts that have been made to clarify the relationship is over, ghosting is sometimes the only logical option. Um, yeah, if you don't, if you have, if you had the talk with somebody and they're not getting it, that you're like, hey man, I just kind of want to be friends, and they're just still pressuring you into a relationship. Let's say it is from Tinder, um, and maybe you had a date or two. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know why in a lot of these situations you wouldn't just unmatch them, but I guess that's kind of is technically ghosting, is you're just, you know, you're laying off. Um, one thing comes to mind with me from speed dating is I, you know, hung out with someone several times from that, several times. Like, this is not just a one or two time thing, um, and then just out of the blue, they just stopped answering. Um, so, you know, that happens. Uh, signs, oh, oh, sorry, we were just going to jump on there. Possible catfishing. 
Um, so this is inter an interesting one. So this is a big one, catfishing. When someone poses as someone else online, it is a real problem. If the person you're messaging online never wants to video uh, chat on video, starts asking for money for weird reasons, or comes up with excuses so they can't meet up in real life, the Tinder swindler, um, move on and ghost them. Um, apparently, this specialist <laughs> recommends. Uh, so what are some other less obvious signs to look out for? Catfish usually upload many different images to their profile to make it seem believable. Uh, but they do it all at once, he says. Another sign that you may not catch on is that they have many interests or hobbies. The average person only lists uh, one or two hobbies normally, but ca but someone who's catfishing may have an unusual amount of pastimes or hobbies, and they keep their interests broad to attract as many people as possible. There's no better option here than ghosting. Uh, the, the more a victim talks to a catfish, the more control a catfish gets. Uh, and the most effective way to remove yourself from the situation is to cut all, off all communications with them. Um... So a couple of interesting things there, uh, thoughts I want to bring up. So having more photos of yourself, I think, is actually more genuine. Um, you know, if it's just like one or two pictures, you know, it could just be a Google rip. Um, but where the more pictures is the more believable. If you've got an Instagram link and there's some more pictures on there, it's more believable. Um, having multiple hobbies and interests is a great thing to do. And it also can backfire for two, re uh, both for one, one and one reason for both pros and cons. So the pro would be that to show people what you're interested in. And, and as it says, you might attract more people. Um, naturally people are going to look through a profile, hopefully anyway, and they're going to try to match up on something that they're interested in, in that person, whether it be, Hey, we both like going out to the movies. So if you just had one or two things, like, you know, it, you're limiting yourself. The second thing, um, about way too many interests, um, is it sometimes doesn't leave enough to, to, to try to figure out. It's nice to have a little bit of, of secret, you know, secrecy in your profile. So there's something that people can go, Hey, what other hobbies, what, what else do you do for fun? And they can cling, they can jump into that. Um, so it's really interesting that they look at that as like just a complete negative, um, which is interesting to me. Signs of lying, cheating, or dishonesty. I don't even really know if we need to read into this one. Uh, but if you feel that someone is lying to you and you see a plot, a pattern of dishonesty, ghosting can be a very smart way out. Uh, if you try to have an open and honest conversation with a deceitful person, their strategies may leave you feeling as you are the problem. Thus, ghosting can be the only safe tactic. If you're being manipulated into doing things that don't feel right, ghosting may be the move that keeps you safe. Um, I think, like, ghosting in the sense of, like, someone, if you actually knew someone was cheating, um, yeah, oh yeah, get, get rid of them instantly and don't get involved. Um, and if they were just being very dishonest, that can come into a lot of things. Um... You know, for example, if someone said, hey, I'm going out for a hike today, um, I'm going to send you a picture of it, and you find out, let's say, you know, you, I don't know, you're on their Facebook or something, and they've already uploaded a photo like eight months ago, and they send you that photo, um, you may not look at that as a bad thing. You might be like, well, that's, yeah, that's whatever. But I mean, in truth, that could be someone saying, like, that could just be a whole nother thing. Like, you know, it would be such a little thing to do as an example. Um, but th that would just be like... If you're initially talking on, say, Tinder, um, you know, in my opinion, there'd be no reason to be lying to someone, um, you know, that early in. And if you're and if you're going to just tell them, like, you know, for whatever it might be, um, if they're lying about, like, actually being in a relationship and then they're coming on and then, you know, they're technically they are in a relationship and you do find out. Yeah, get rid of them. There's no there's no. Uh, yeah, there's no way I'd be sticking around with that. Um, general unease, and I'm going to put the last two together. So general unease, and if you're feeling used, are the last two. So general unease is sometimes you just can't put on your, you just, I can't even read it. Sometimes you just can't put your finger on why a person's behavior is bothersome, and that's okay. You don't have to justify it. It's just like a gut feeling. Um, you don't really owe them an explanation of why you want to end things. You're just not really feeling. Um, it's just better that apparently than saying you generally suck as a person. I think like, general unease is just hilarious because that's probably just most of what it is. It's just like, hey, no, I'm not really feeling it. And, and, and you move on. Um, if you're feeling like you're being used, so if someone is only messaging you when they need something, that's a perfectly good reason to ghost them. That's also in non-dating, by the way. Um, I've done that in person. Someone kept texting me all the time every time they were moving, and they would I would only hear from them when they were moving. And then I knew when they were like, hey, I'm moving, that the follow-up was like, hey, can I get a hand with that? And the last one, I finally just said no, and I just stopped answering. Um, and yeah, that happens. Uh, da, 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 da. if you have asked someone to stop contacting you and they refuse to respect that ghost them 
it's not worth your energy to dance around that fa the fact that that person is making you feel like you're being taken advantage of whether it's conscious on their part or not um yeah and then it's like saying it can like escalate um to harassment so i mean all in all um quickly just running through um the points are interesting you know the catfishing by the way too it doesn't necessarily have to be a different person but i mean you could be you could be like old photo catfish so that's a huge one that's happened to me multiple times where someone's had photos of them like literally like eight years ago when they were maybe a different shape or you know looked a little different or had a different style and then when you see them in the present you know you might not you, you it's not even like they might not be attractive it's just like or, or you might not find them attractive but it's like you were th expecting one thing and, and got another and sometimes that's a perk, and some, a lot of times I don't think it is. Um, I would just say, like, general ghosting, at least from my point of view, uh, when I would do it, is just generally, I just don't, I lose interest, is one of the biggest ones. If I'm talking to someone, and there's just, a, I'm, I'm just really not feeling the conversation, like, maybe I'm doing all the work, um, you know, maybe she's rude, I don't know, like, there's just something about it, you know, she stands up on the date, like, whatever it is, like, I, I, you know, I got, like, pretty much a one-strike policy there, and, you know, she's at a, get out, and, um, yeah, you know, it's just how it is, all right, anyway, well, let me know what you guys think, um, if you ever want any online dating advice personally, I mean, I don't know, I took an email the other day from uh, us, from someone who commented on the video, on an eHarmony video, um, feel free to shoot me an email, gordonickdaniels at gmail.com, and I'll offer anything I can. I'm not, uh, all, all I can offer you is basically 29 years of being single, um, and people kind of see me and say, hey, look, like you look like you're doing okay with that. Like, you know what? Yeah, I'm not doing too bad. So if you want some advice on that, like how to kind of, I don't know, how to manage that or how to do your online dating things, um, you know, get at me. Or just keep watching. I appreciate that, too. Um, anyway, yeah. Thank you for watching. We're going to see the next one. Fireplaces. It's just getting hot, dude. I got I to gotta, I gotta turn that shit down. All right. Take it easy. Peace. Thanks for watching, you pencil pushers. If you guys want to check out my Instagram here, I've just got it in the background. It's Nick Daniels Photography with an underscore in between each word where I uh, post every day. That's a lie. Thanks for watching. Peace.